The Grand Kinetic Challenge, oversized human-powered art pieces rolling through the city, across the campus of Oregon State University, through surrounding agricultural land, and negotiating obstacle courses like the sand dune. It's a friendly competition the Renaissance Italian thinker, artist, and inventor would have loved, the main event of an annual festival bearing his name. Nick Houtman edits a science magazine for the university. He was the Renaissance guy, right? He was the guy who said, you know, let's try the art and the science and let's look at the human body and let's paint and let's invent things, let's explore the world. Wow, wow, yeah, for the glory. More than 500 years ago, da Vinci wrote, learning never exhausts the mind. It's clear the learning here is mixed with pure fun. Fun is fun, ageless, timeless. Da Vinci also said, study the science of art and study the art of science. Develop your senses. But is that kind of nuanced exploration and intellectual curiosity being left behind as we move through the 20 teens and into the rapidly approaching future? We're developing cars that drive for us, finding new ways robots can work for us, and in the push for artificial intelligence, teaching computers to do more and more of our thinking for us. So even here at Da Vinci Days, the question lingers, is his kind of thinking still relevant? Who was Da Vinci? I don't know. Who was Da Vinci? Well, didn't he make the plan for, um, it's like wings, right? He made a plan for like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> People here certainly hope da Vinci-esque curiosity about the world and how it works will survive in an increasingly mechanized, computerized age. The world is a dire and an astounding place at the same time. And we have the creativity to continue to push the envelope and to solve problems. One, two, three. Whoa! And hopefully keep that human element in learning and exploration for future generations. Alan Schaffler, Al Jazeera, Corvallis, Oregon.